All right, check this out. You guys are back on the Hater World, and I'm Blue Devil. What we got going on today is a video of Milk74 saying that he paved the way for LA YouTubers. But before we get into this video, if you guys are new to the Hater World, make sure you go over, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, like the video, and most importantly, leave me a comment down below and let me know if you like what I'm doing or whether you don't. And salute to all my day ones. You guys already know, nothing but love. But check this out. We got this video of Milk74 on Say Cheese TV saying that he paved the way for all the LA street dudes that are on YouTube now, right? Is it true? Is it false? I don't know. Uh, but before we get into that video, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you do so at the Hater World. Also follow our other page, Hater World Bits. Just go down in the description and uh, hit the follow button or subscribe. Uh, you guys already know what time it is. Uh, but let's go ahead and give you guys a Southsiders reaction. Let's get it. With YouTube, I, I'm not doing none of that. So, yeah, like, that's that's different right there. So, like, that's crazy. I see a lot of people trying to start that YouTube shit now, you know. And, and we're going to get to this later. Uh, we talked about it in the last interview, but we had uh, difficulties, technical difficulties. But I see now a lot of people are trying to get into this YouTube space. And five, ten years ago, street niggas, hood niggas, um, gang members like yourself, uh, they look down on this whole YouTube shit. Check it out. Before he answers, let me say something. Uh, Sean Cotton is in line. I can tell you like this. Back in 08, oh, I, I can say I've been filming since like 06, right? That's when I bought my first camera. And back then, the camera, it was a little cassette, right? It was a little mini DV. Those that remember, remember. After that, it was the CDs. It was a mini CD, right? And after that, the hard drive uh, camcorders came out, right? And then after that is when your GoPro started to come out and all this new digital shit, right? Uh, but I go back as far as the mini DVs. Uh, and I got so much backed up shit that maybe one day I'll let you guys watch it. Those real ones that know me from back then know what footage I'm talking about. But I'll tell you like this. Back in those days, homies didn't want to be on camera. Homies were like, nah. They, they would shy away. They would get angry. They would get pissed off. Some homies would love it. You know how it is. There's homies that, that uh, homies and homegirls that once they see a camera, they want to act out. You know? And there's those homies, probably 99% of the homies didn't want to be on tape. Uh, they didn't want you to bring that shit around. They didn't want you to film. They actually wanted to see what you what they look like before you even, you know, if not, they'd make you delete the file like you would film them, right? And then they'd be like, let me see what it looks like. Then you show them, they'd be like, oh, no, delete that shit. I don't look cool. You know, like, so much shit. Uh, nowadays, these kids would not understand the shit we went through. Uh... Back then, I'm telling you, everybody would be like, get that shit away from me, and including me. You know, like I said before on that YB video, I was always behind the camera. But let's keep going. Let's hear Milk's answer. I'm going to tell you, um, when I first started, people was looking down on me. Ah, uh, he a weirdo. Ah, uh, he trying to do YouTube. Ah, uh, he a, like, I'm, I, like I say now, he a Gilligan or, you know, shit like that. I'm pretty sure they were saying like that. They were saying shit like that. I know it was a lot of hate. But these people, for some strange reason, didn't start going to do YouTube in L.A. until they seen it crack with me. I'm not even going to lie with you, bro. I've seen it for myself. A lot of people, bro. I even had people DM me like, ugh, like you not really from Hoover. I'm going to expose you. I'm going to start YouTube. I'm going to put it on a video. Like, ugh. You feel me? I tried to leave it alone. Then two days later, I respond like, yeah, punk. Bitch, go on and do it. You know, shit like that. But... Man, I've seen a lot of people, bro. Like, a lot of people. Old gangbangers, too. Like, old gangbangers doing this. Check it out. Anybody can pick up a camera and start filming, right? Anybody can film anything. You go outside. There's content all day long. Go outside. Go film the homeless. Go outside. Go film somebody working. Go outside. Go film some rocks. Believe it or not, there is a fan base for everything. Whether you believe that shit or not, right? But if you want to be in front of the camera like I am or like Milk is or anybody else, uh, there's got to be something in you that people like. You can't just sit in front of the camera and talk like a bozo and really have no potential. So with Milk, goddamn, I really think it's the 
he's white, but he's from a black gang thing that has him popping, right? Motherfuckers are like, man, that fool's fake. He's a white boy. He ain't from Hoover, right? So they go and look him up, and when they see him, they like him. So they hit subscribe. You know, uh, I once was said like, look, you know, we all know this. All publicity is good publicity, right? But let me go back to this. I once, well, I don't want to say once, but a previous business that I had, uh, I had somebody leave me a bad review, right? And I had customers come in and were like, I'm like, how did you find us? Well, I saw a bad review and I just wanted to come see it for myself. Like, oh, shit, right? So it made me get their shit done faster, you know, and quicker because I wanted them to have a different outlook than what they read. And the same thing goes for Milk. You know how many people talk shit about this guy out there? Bro, you know how many comments are going to be down below right now talking shit about him? He ain't real, he ain't real, he ain't real. All you guys are really doing is people that don't know him are going to read comments and be like, who the fuck is this white boy? And they're going to go look him up and they're either going to give him a view or they're either going to subscribe to his channel because they fuck with him. So when you don't like somebody, just sip that shit up. Say you don't know them. Ignore the question. You know? But let's keep going. I think Bosco been around for a minute. No, I wasn't even talking about him. Yeah, he's been around before me, but he's really like Instagram, I think, I would say. Yeah, yeah. I don't, does he have a YouTube? Yeah, but he don't really... I ain't even gonna lie, bro. I think he was really heavy on YouTube. He had a channel maybe three years ago. I'm pretty sure he got a channel, but I don't know if he's like uploading it, bro. Every time I see something about him, it's on somebody else's page. Unless he got like yeah. a fake page and it don't got his name on it. But I know he had a page, though. Sure. Uh, do you have a... Bosco is a old YouTuber. I remember seeing his shit back, like, in 2011, 2010. Uh, I remember seeing him on YouTube doing interviews. So, you know, he does go way back uh, with the YouTube culture. But let's keep going. ...with your YouTube, because, like, me, every day I wake up, I got to post three clips a day. Um, sometimes four... Sometimes too, but I gotta post every day. Like that's my system. Um, I got a quota I have to meet, um, and uh, you know now I'm doing I'm doing good enough to where you know even my guests like I consider you one of my guests. Um, shit, I could I could break you off. You know what I'm saying? And um, you know I have a system. Uh, do you have a? If you can break them off, I hope you're breaking them off. See, listen, a lot of people say this. Well, you come on my interview and all you're going to get is uh, uh, promotion, right? Let me tell you, back in the day, I used to work with a lot of Chicano rappers, right? You guys already know that. And you know what their payment, their form of payment was? Hey, fool, I'll say your name on the record. Hey, fool, I'll say your name in the credits. Hey, fool, I'll say your name in here. Motherfucker, I can't feed my kids with that, you know? Uh... So a lot of these interviewers are the same way. Come through and I'll just, you'll get promo off my page. Now listen, if you if the interviewer and the interviewee are on the same level, you guys are both helping each other out. You feel me? But if you guys are on the same level, the interviewer wants you on his shit, you gotta drop some ducats. You want me on your shit, you know? Or if somehow the, the, the person being interviewed is way at the bottom, it does him a favor. You know, sometimes they got to pay up top to get on the fucking, on the show. Uh, but let me tell you guys, Sean Cotton said that he uploads three or four times a day. At the end of the day, bro, people think YouTube is, you make a video, you blow up, you're cool. Listen, at the end of the day, YouTube is a job. YouTube is a job. You still got to wake up. You still got to put on the uniform. You still got to fucking get in front of the camera. You still got to record. You still got to edit. You still got to do the graphic. You still got to promote it. You still got to upload it. And then you do it all over again. And then you do it all over again. Uh, and some months, uh, YouTube might not pay you as much. The next month, they might pay you more. And so you got to work harder those months. So at the end of the day, bro, you're just, you're, all you're doing is making videos to chill at home. You know, that's really what it is. You got the, you got the, you're able to be at home a little bit more comfortable and you don't have to go to a job uh, where you got a boss yelling at you. Uh, the thing with me is that I don't have a boss. I've never had a boss. I've always been my own boss. I've always had several businesses and I still do. So I can do this on the side. 
But to those that actually had a job and have to go to a 9 to 5, YouTube is a blessing. But let's keep going. Yeah, um, I really do. Uh, you know, that's, I, I sit, breathe, and live for the YouTube channel. I really do have a system. Like, I, I need to do the video. You know, like, I do reactions and shit. So I got to, like, do the reactions, edit them. So, like, yeah, I would want at least three or four videos every day and two live streams. But right now I've been going through a little issues, like, with my uh, living arrangement. So that's kind of been, like, slowing it down right now. But... Once I get out this lease, like, and get this room or whatever, and I've been looking for, like, a a, a, a space, like, a, a, mm. some type of office space. I've been searching for that, but, um, yeah, I got a routine, bro. Uh, I, look for, I look for stuff to... All right, check this out. So what he's saying is that because he's moving, it sort of fucks up the routine, and those are facts. If you guys know I got a new building and having to move things over here and, you know, arrange shit really takes up a lot of your time and it fucks up the routine... You guys know that I drop at 1 p.m. every day, and recently I've been all over the place. I'm trying to catch my routine, and the same thing goes for him. He said he's looking for a building, and I salute that. He's growing, he's showing growth, and he's really taking this as a business, and he's trying to get a building. Uh, that's where it's at. That's where it's at, because once you do that, bro, there's no going back. Let me give a little piece of advice to anybody out there trying to start a business or rent a unit or something, right? Once you rent a unit, once you start a building and you get a taste of success there is no looking back there is no looking back you no longer can give it up all you can do is either stay afloat or upgrade okay a lot of people say uh oh they're afraid to go into business and blah 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 there ain't shit to be afraid of what's the worst that can happen 30 day notice so what you go back to where you used to be at done deal you know but that should make you grind harder well let's keep going react to uh, I react to it, I edit it, and I uh, upload it. And I'm on and I'm on this shit constantly all day. Like the studio, I'm I'm uh, interacting with the subscribers, liking the comments, trying to comment back as much as I could. So that's yeah, that's my system every day. Is YouTube really? Check this out. I've been doing the same shit. You guys already know that. You you guys comment below. I reply. I like the post. I'll I'll go back and forth with the trolls. I'll talk a little bit of shit, but that's where it ends. I uh, just let you guys know, when the trolls talk to me, don't think for one second that you got me in my feelings. I've read comments where, I've read comments of trolls on other pages saying they punked me in the comments. The fuck? How the fuck does that happen? You know, uh, but it is what it is. I'm going to kill this video where Elaine call it a day. Shout out to Milk74 for doing this thing and upgrading. Shout out to Say Cheese TV. Uh, at the end of the day, Piece of advice to everybody watching. YouTube's a job. You know, it's just a different kind of job. You got plumbers. You got electricians. You got whatever. And then you also have YouTubers. It's a fucking job. Their job is, our job is to entertain you guys simple and plain. Uh, so anybody can do it. You just got to have, you got to have it in you. But other than that, follow me on Instagram at the Hater World. Uh, stay tuned for our next episode. And other than that, I'm Blue Devil. This has been the Hater World production. And we out.